at the end of Matthew's Gospel, Jesus gives his followers what is known as the Great Commission, to make disciples of all the nations. And there's no doubt that the main idea of that commission is indeed to make disciples. But how are we to understand the phrase or the command, go? Some would argue that it should be translated, as you go. That Jesus is indeed isn't giving us a command, but is merely saying, wherever you happen to be, whatever you happen to be doing, there be making disciples. Others take it to read more like an imperative, as a command, that Jesus is indeed saying, go. Well, let me argue for the latter, that it, that it, it should be understood imperatively. We see this pattern found in the Greek translation of the Old Testament, known as the Septuagint. In several places, you have the same phrase or the same construction the word go followed by another command. And in the Greek, it's the same exact construction. So for example, Jacob inst instructs his son, Joseph, go see if your brothers are well and tell me. Pharaoh commands the people of Israel, go and get to work. Clearly he's not saying as you go, it's a command, go get to work. Elisha sent a messenger to Naaman saying, go and wash in the Jordan seven times. The same pattern then follows into Matthew's Gospel. Not only is it in the Great Commission, but it's found several other times as well, and it's consistently translated the same way. For example, King Herod urgently commands the wise men, go and search diligently for the child. Again, he's not saying, as you go, it's a command. Uh, Jesus declares to John's disciples, go and tell John what you hear and see. He, uh, that is, Jesus instructs Peter saying, go to the sea and cast a hook and take the first fish that comes up. Another example, the angel at the empty tomb, again in, in, Ma in Matthew 28, the same chapter states, go quickly, tells the women, go quickly, tell the disciples that he has risen from the dead. You see, of the 12 major English Bible translates, translations that I consulted, not one of them translated this phrase, this word, as you go. Of 12 major commentaries that I consulted, not one of them argued that the phrase, that the word should be translated, as you go. And then finally, the imperatival for, force or function of the participle is especially obvious in the context of the Great Commission, which includes making disciples specifically of all the nations. So, while we acknowledge that the main verb is to make disciples. The church is also given the command to go.